This is Adam Want, and we're here for week three of my iPad mini trial. This will be one of the shorter podcasts, and it will look at what programs I use to communicate with people in my life. There are a lot of different options out there, and I'm just going to quickly go over the programs that I use on a weekly basis or on a daily basis. Um, what I'm not going to do is go into them in any depth. I'm just going to quickly name them and look at some features. Next week, week four, we will be doing a final review of the iPad mini trial, and I will go into some of the programs in a little more depth, as well as discuss the pros and cons of the iPad mini, and compare and contrast them to an, a full-size iPad and an iPhone 5. I just kind of isolated a few programs here on this page uh, that I use on a regular basis, just to go over them, and we could talk about what I use them for. Google Voice, as I said during my first video, is a program that I use regularly for text and phone calls. I pair Google Voice up with Skype, and by pairing Google Voice up with Skype, I get terrific phone and text messaging capabilities on my iPad mini. I am going to make a podcast up in the future on my telecommunication workflow. I do things very differently than most. I use a system and a set of programs that most people do not. And in the very near future, I will do a podcast on my telecommunications workflow so people can get an idea of how I manage myself. Almost all of my voice and text communications are done through Google Voice and Skype. Uh, to the right of that, I have mail up on top. I use the internal mail program. Um, and I have about seven or eight different accounts on there I use for different purposes. Uh, right under that, I have contacts. It's important to recognize that you could use iCloud to back up your contacts. And then if anything's lost, you don't lose anything. You could also use iCloud to sync your contacts between devices and your computers. So that works out well, too. Uh, to the right of that, I have two programs I use very frequently. I have Facebook. I have two accounts on Facebook. I have my personal account that I only use for family and very close friends. And then I have my Professor Adam Scott Want account, which is fairly new. It's only about a month old, not even a month. And I'm using the Professor Adam Scott Want account as a public site on Facebook to post a lot of my work and videos. Right under that, you see that I have LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn is uh, professional networking that I use uh, for my professional life. To the right of that, I have TweetBot. I use the Twitter program for a, well over a year. Uh, I like the official Twitter program. However, TweetBot has a lot of features that the original Twitter program doesn't have. One of the features I really like from TweetBot is how I could change, requote, and retweet tweets without going through a huge workflow. So I use TweetBot for my Twitter, and I use Twitter professionally. I'm on it all the time. Right under that, I have Google Latitude, which is a program I use to see where some people I work with would be. Find My Friends, also down here, uh, is a program for the iPhone. I have some of my family members on Find My Friends. And right above it, I have an app by a company called Zendisk. Students who have taken my courses know that I use a system called Project Gnosis for student communication. Project Gnosis runs off of Zendesk, so I have the app right over here. On the next page, I have a couple of programs, which actually I don't use so much, and let's talk about why. FaceTime and Messages, I don't use at all. Um, I don't use iMessages. I actually have it turned off in the settings. And FaceTime, I have turned off as well. Now, realistically, FaceTime and iMessage, great programs. They have one giant limitation. They only work Mac to Mac or iOS to Mac or iOS to iOS. You have to be using Apple products to use FaceTime and iMessage. There are some ways to get around it, but it's not widely adopted, so what's the point? I don't use FaceTime or iMessage at all. Another program um, I've stopped using is Line 2. I've talked about Line 2 in week one. Line 2 allows me to make my iPad basically into a cell phone. It allows me to have a phone number for cell phone calls and text messaging as well. Line 2 is a great program, but it has one fundamental flaw, and it's a fundamental flaw that I will go over in my full-length podcast on telecommunications. Uh, so that's basically it. Back on page one. The programs that I use on a regular basis, Google Voice, Mail, Facebook, TweetBot, Zendesk, Skype, Contact, LinkedIn, Latitude, and Find My Friends. These are the 10 programs that I access on a regular basis to communicate with people in my life. Through these 10 programs, I'm able to communicate either synchronously or asynchronously to almost everybody. So these are the programs I wanted to go over in week three. It was a short week. Join me in week four for my final review of the iPad mini. It should be extremely informative.
My name is Adam Scott Want. I am a professor and technologist at John Jay College of Criminal Justice, which is part of the City University of New York. I also serve as the chair and senior researcher for the CUNY Skunk Works Academic Technology Research and Development Group. For future updates, please subscribe and like this video on YouTube. I hope you have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.